Hey, what is up? Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to deploy an AWS Lambda with a bunch of uh, dependencies using uh, Docker, Docker images, um, ECR, and then deploy it to Lambda. So uh, why would you want to do this? Well, in uh, my last video about deploying Lambda dependencies, I used a zip file method and uh, a lot of people are having issues with size of the deployment package like they wanted to deploy uh, a larger size and uh, this method can support several gb 10 gigabytes i believe uh, this will allow you to deploy much larger packages and it's not too much more complicated to do it's actually fairly straightforward so let's get right into that. Prerequisites for this. You need an AWS account. You need to have Docker desktop downloaded. And you just want to have your AWS CLI uh, configured. So if you have all that, uh, we're going to run the following uh, commands in uh, command line. So we'll run this uh, AWS ECR create a repository. And then we'll give it a repo name, my Lambda repo demo. Um, then we're going to need to create a Docker file. So this first part's going to be our uh, Python file. And then this is the function. We're going to be using uh, Python 3.8. Uh, and then we'll just uh, pip install. So I'm, instead of using a requirements TXT, I just have directly my uh, dependencies I'm going to pip install. So I have request, pandas, uh, beautiful soup for, and LXML. All right. So, so then we build our uh, Docker image. Step four is you're going to need to authenticate uh, Docker with ECR. So you'll have to run uh, this command. Uh, here you'll insert whatever your uh, region is. So it's like, you know, US East 2, US West 2, or uh, whatever that region may be. And then uh, you have your account ID here. So if you don't have your account ID, you can get this from, uh, assuming you have the AWS CL CLI set up, you can get this from your, in the AWS UI somewhere, or you can just run this um, command and that will output the ID for you. All right, so then we um, we we tag the Docker image, and then we use this push. So Docker push um, my Lambda repo demo. So after that's all done, we're pretty much finished, and we just need to create a Lambda inside of AWS, and we need to make sure uh, that we add um, the ECR connection. So there's an option when you're creating the Lambda with a Docker image, you can select uh, the ECR. Um, otherwise, if you don't select it, you can also, in the beginning, when you do this, um, they give you some sort of uh, URL that you can paste in there. But anyway, um, pretty straightforward. I'm going to actually demo through how to do this now. All right, so you'll want a new folder here. And you want a new folder and you'll need your Docker file. So here's my Docker file. And then also, uh, you see we have my lambda function.py. So you'll need your Python file. And here's my uh, Python file. It's importing requests, pandas, and beautiful soup. And it's fetching from uh, Wikipedia, web scraping. Uh, page on Wikipedia, and then it's getting the references, and then we're going to return that, which is a data frame. So, yeah, so here's a good like demo function, Python function that's using a bunch of dependencies. All right, to so go into uh, command prompt, so let's run uh, step one. All right, so step one ran, and you'll see you have this repository URI, which you uh, may need later depending on if you uh, uh, just select the path when we create the lambda or if you want to copy and paste this this uh, repository URI. All right so step two create a docker file so I already showed you the docker file so we actually already finished step two. Uh, step three build the docker image 
So let's run this. Um, quick tip, you want to have your Docker desktop open. If it's not open, uh, it's not going to work. So make sure that your Docker desktop's installed and on. All right, so I'm running Docker build. All right, so since I already ran this command earlier, it built pretty quickly. Um, otherwise, this might take like uh, a minute or two. All right, so I forgot my um, account ID, so I'm just gonna run this command to get our um, get your CLI the account ID. All right, now that we have our account ID, we're going to run this um, with the region and the account ID. So I have it set to US East two. All right, so you should get login succeeded. All right, so we're almost, we're actually already almost finished. Like you can see how this really isn't that difficult. We just need to now uh, tag and then we'll have to push it. All right, so we tag. All right, so that ran. And now we need to just do the push. All right, so when you push, you'll see all these like uh, pushing. So give these a few minutes to run. All right, so I finished pushing, so we can close this and let's open up AWS. All right, so in AWS, make sure you're in the same re region that you, you know, you did all the pushing and stuff in, um, and go to Lambda, click on create function. All right, now out of these options, author from scratch, use blueprint container image, we're going to select container image. So we'll give it a name, demo lambda image. Now in here, you can either paste in that uh, URI from earlier when we ran that first command, or you can click browse image and you can just find it. So then you have select container image and you can just select a repository. Um, and you should see the one that we just made, my lambda repo demo, or whatever you named it. If you followed along exactly, you'll have this name, so click that and then select it and click uh, select image. All right, and then just click create function. All right, so you'll want to next just click on test, uh, scroll down and just give a new uh, test event. It doesn't matter. Um, and then click save and let's click test. I got an error the first time I ran it, but if after I just ran it again and it succeeded. So we'll click on details and you can see right here, we got exactly what we expected. Status code 200 and we have this uh, body that looks like it's pulling from uh, Wikipedia. So that is it. We've successfully deployed a Lambda package using ECR and Docker and uh, really wasn't too hard. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Thank you.